inspire to be like Jung. You know, she was a very kind woman and she took care of people. She was very respectful. Osborne Village residents are gathering together Thursday evening to mourn the loss of a victim of a fire the Winnipeg police are deeming as arson. Megan Ross is a neighbor of Emark Groceries and she organized the event on Facebook saying it's important now that the community comes together. We're just going to walk around the neighborhood and um, light up the streets with our electronic candles and our cell phone flashes and just hope that she can feel the love from, from us. Jung Shin was 60 years old and lived above the e-mart with her son Jason, who ran the business, having only started operating it three months before the pandemic. Friend of the family, Justin, shared fond memories about how welcoming Shin was, a common theme among the residents. She was so nice and just so willing to, like, be there for Jason and, and for us, especially, like, back in high school and just... It really sucks. It really sucks. She you, she was super kind and really just would give the world for, for Jason. She was different. She was very, very, very kind. And I know we have very kind people, but she was just one step above. She just put so much thought into everything that she did. And it's a, it's a very bad loss. It's a very sad loss for our community. Jason told City News he was overwhelmed by the amount of support from area residents. The walk began shortly after 8 p.m. with well over 50 people holding candles and participating. I think Megan and I have discussed many times it was a safe place during COVID for us to come um, when other places didn't feel safe, you know, and um, just a really good sense of community at Emart and I think that a lot of people don't understand the gravity. You know, a store can always be rebuilt, but we've lost like a really vital, important member of our community. Honestly, like it's, it's just been so touch and go these past couple of days. I don't think it's it's sunk in, at least for me, how many people like really care, or cared about Jason's store and Jason's mom and it's just, it's, it's really nice to see. According to Lushinsky, Jason had also been inside the apartment when it caught fire, escaping with just the clothes on his back. Winnipeg police held a press conference Wednesday announcing the incident as a fire homicide investigation. Addressing other arson incidents the same night, Constable Craver also described the suspect seen in the videos. Four fires were set that evening, all in the same geographic area, and investigators believe the sus same suspect to be responsible for all. The suspect description, based on the images we have, is a white male, approximately 30 years in age, about 5 foot 10 in height, athletic build, short, light hair, or possibly a shaved head, we can't tell because there's a baseball cap on, wearing blue Adidas baseball, Adidas baseball hat, a black t-shirt, black shorts, black footwear with white socks, and a black COVID or medical mask. The police are asking the public's assistance in locating the man or anyone with information to come forward to the homicide unit. In Winnipeg, Brian Foley, City News.